What's up guys, this is Imperi99 here, and I'm back with another video, and like I promised in one of my last videos, I said that I would be getting the Halo Reach Limited Edition, so with that said, this is the unboxing of that. But first, before I guess we get into it, uh, I did go almost all out this year with Halo Reach. I picked up the Limited Edition game, the Legendary Edition Strategy Guide, and the Special Edition Controller as well. So you're about to see everything. Um, you should know that I did pick up the controller a couple days ago, so I'm not going to unbox that right now, because it's already out of the packaging. So, for now, here it is. That's the controller, I guess. So basically, here's, it's the controller itself. Nice, very nice looking silver, you know, and then it has the um, you know, custom Halo Reach design to it, with the black buttons and the chrome in the middle, and also the triggers, and the battery pack is black as well. Very nice. Uh, very nice looking controller. And, you know, the standard packaging that it comes with. You know, pretty cool looking. You know, I saved it as, to the best I can. And I will be, you know, putting it somewhere. Not going to get rid of that. Next up, we have the Legendary Edition Guide. Now, this is a huge strategy guide. And the reason why it's so massive, I mean, just look at how thick it is. The reason why it's so big is because, of course, it comes with an 80-page art book. And the reason why I'm not, I don't usually buy the strategy guides for games, especially a game where you don't really need it, like Halo. But the main reason why I decided to pick it up this time was because of, um, was because the limited edition, or any edition really, for Halo doesn't include, um, when you get limited or legendary, it doesn't include an art book. So it's a little, so it's a little kind of like, wow, you know, it's unusual. It's just about every single, you know, limited edition you get nowadays has an art book somewhere in there, you know. Uh, but this one didn't include it, so I decided, you know what, this is my chance to get an art book for the game as well. And uh, also have a little bit of a strategy guide to, uh, you know, throw it all together. So, take it out of the box here. The packaging. Alright. And there it is. Pretty straightforward. On one side you got the Halo Reach. Legendary Edition Guide. Man, Jesus, this thing is heavy, guys. I mean, just listen to that thump there. It's pretty heavy. And then, of course, what it includes, the fact that it has a one of six um, collect collectible covers on the 80-page art book. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, how about this, though? 343 Industries is behind this game, and they're actually going to be taking over Halo after this, as Bungie is now officially done with it. That's pretty cool. You know, you see three, four, three industries in there on the packaging. Um, opening up the actual guide itself. Um, oh wow, this is this is what they were talking about. The one of six collectible inside covers in there. There's the there's the one I got, I guess. Um, very nice looking interior already. Everything seems to be in full color, as you would expect. Um, also, the one of the reasons why I mainly got this uh, got the strategy guide too as well because is because of the. Um, I'm just gonna flip ahead and see if I can get the art book in here. Actually, no, I think the, the art book was in the beginning. I don't know. Um, oh, here we go. I guess this is all the uh, the concept art here in the back. Anyway, but the reason why I did pick up the game uh, the guide as well is because right now at Best Buy, which is where I picked up the game. Uh, which is why I reserve my copy. They're having, for this week only, if you head over there, you get a $20 Best Buy gift card with the purchase of any version of Halo Reach, and that even includes the regular standard edition. You know, in, up, up to the $399.99 um, 360 console. So if you add the version of, that, of, the, of Halo Reach that you get, you will be getting um, a $20 gift card. So I put that towards my the Legendary Edition guide. Now, finally, I've got all the boring part out of it, I guess. Or maybe not boring if you're into controllers and strategy guides. But now we get into the part that I've been waiting for, and I guess all, I'm hoping all of you are waiting for, and that is, of course, the game itself. And then it first, we'll start extremely thick, pretty heavy. Um, of course, it's got the newer style 360 logo on top now, and there's Halo Reach, obviously, written down. Some custom artwork on it. And on the back, 
basically it says limited edition, everything it includes, you know, obviously I'm from sure the number of players and stuff like that, all written down, not the usual stuff. On the side again, Halo Reach and just section seven and stuff like that. And pretty much the same thing on all sides. So now let's open it up. And it is completely sealed. I'm just gonna put the camera down for one second. Hold on. Okay guys, I just take the seals off now, so here it is, and it just kind of just slips right off. It's a slip cover, just like the Alan Wake collector edition I had as well. Just sort of slide this right on off. Nice snug fit there. And then I believe it opens out somehow. Oh, again, you just pull it out. It's got a handle here. Yeah. I didn't watch any unboxing videos of, the, of this, so I didn't see how it opens. So I'm sorry about that if it took a little while to figure it out. And there it is. Okay, so this is a pretty hard case. Hollow now. It smells a little funky as uh, I think. Besides the end, it said that it was going to smell a little funky when you pulled it out. Um, um, so, let's put it deep in there. So. Pop out the actual copy of the game itself. And also, you'll notice that it's got the black casing. And of course, like, you know, the regular standard edition packaging, which will, of course, include the game itself, and all the, dead, all the bonus content, like your armor, and you know, all that stuff, and obviously just the instructions manual is also on there. Let's close that up. Okay. And then you pull the second piece out of here, just like that. And then there's, you know, uh, you know, I noticed that there's a lot of, I heard there's a lot of paperwork in here. You know, so there's a lot of, like, and it looks like it's, it almost looks like it's handwritten. That's pretty cool looking. And then you got this like. Now this is the, uh, the journal, but it's sealed up in this casing, which is rather protective of the of the actual thing. I'm gonna put the camera down for one more second. Sorry about that. And you just pull it out, and there you go. There's the journal, very nice, extremely nice. I'm really impressed with it actually. It almost looks, I, you know, like a, it looks like a legitimate, real journal. It's, it's pretty cool. And this is just magnetized, so you just kind of just lift this part up and just folds out, folds open. Uh, yeah, wow, this looks really nice, guys. It's all handwritten, very nice. You know, and it's got, again, more paperwork inside here. It really looks like a legitimate journal that someone just wrote, you know. And uh, there seems to be more stuff in here. More content. Uh, eventually, when you get to the end of the journal, you'll see this, which is the... That's, this is a map, which... You know, I got criticized last time for not... Uh, my Mafia 2 video for not showing you guys the map in that one. But, uh, you know, there's the whole map. Have to decide. And, of course, at the very back, you got this little slip here at the end, which includes the... Uh, this holographic thing here. And the, uh, the, the patch. Also another piece of artwork there as well. But there you have it, guys. The whole I made a whole bunch of a mess here, but you got you seen everything. Halo Reach, the limited edition game. You've seen some are buried in there here, you've seen the controller, and of course buried in there, the strategy guide. And with that said, thank you. And for all those who have been supporting the videos, please continue, as it does help me out. For that, with that said though, this is Bear99, and I'm out.